We have um, several levels of research that we uh, have done historically and then also currently do on the fast forward products. Um, probably um, initially and, and even today, we have active research going on in neuroscience laboratories and universities that look at foundational issues. Um, issues that deal with research about um, the speed at which individuals can learn particular uh, phonemes and ways that uh, speech could be acoustically modified to improve performance on tasks where kids typically, uh, let's say, English language learners um, who might have difficulty because in their native language there's certain phonemes, certain speech sounds that aren't present in their language that they now have to learn not only in English, but they have to learn the spelling patterns that go along with that. And so that kind of foundational research is going on both at uh, scientific learning in the research department, but then also with collaborators at other universities. Uh, second, we have efficacy research going on. So we have um, new products that we're considering developing and uh, products that just get developed that we uh, study. Um, and so, for example, we'll uh, work with a university and they'll uh, take fast forward products, uh, a new product, and they'll test that product on a group of uh, students and they'll do before and after testing. Uh, in some cases, they'll do, be, uh, they'll do before and after uh, brain measurements uh, and, of course, reading and language performance measures to uh, show that these uh, fast forward products have uh, the intended benefit and how large that benefit might be in well-controlled experimental uh, studies. And so that goes to the efficacy of the product. But efficacy research, uh, really by definition, um, is, an under, is delivered under optimal, optimal conditions. And we know that in many of our uh, uh, sites, many of the schools that we work with, uh, fast forward isn't always able to be delivered under those same optimal conditions. And they're, they're, right, they're real world conditions. And that kind of research is really called effectiveness research. So we might see whether a given fast forward product is more or less effective with preschoolers or middle schoolers or high school students. Um, how effective is the product if it's used um, uh, in 15 or 20 minute chunks of time across a day or if someone sits down and does 50 total minutes without a break uh, using a fast forward product. Uh, what are the benefits of the fast forward product on individuals who are receiving special education services or are English language learners or are in a gifted and talented program? And we'll look to see what uh, ways that we can implement differently but yet um, achieve similar or even better benefits. And that's ongoing research. And so those three types of research on the fast forward products are really always being done. Uh, foundational research, both at the, um, the company's research department uh, with university partners. Efficacy research, again, typically done with school districts uh, who we connect up with university partners. And then third, we're doing effectiveness research where we're looking at different kinds of protocols uh, different kinds of student populations to see how fast-forward products have different benefits for, uh, for each of those groups.